So before we even discussed our subject to, uh, that is biology, similar to what we did with business, agriculture, we asked ourselves a question. So why should you take physics if you are to get to a point where you need to choose between biology and physics? Well, uh, chemistry, as we discussed earlier, should be compulsory in most of the schools, if not all. And so, so what are some of the reasons why, if you need them, why you should take physics? So let me show you some of the objectives of the whole physics subject. And so you can decide which one if you have to make that decision. So uh, why physics? I, you should, by the end of the whole physics thing, you should be able to select and use appropriate instruments to carry out measurements in the physical environment. Use the knowledge acquired to discover and explain the order of the physical environment. Use the acquired knowledge in the conservation and management of the environment. Apply the principles of physics and acquired skills to construct appropriate scientific devices from the available resources. There is more actually. So develop capacity for critical thinking in solving problems in any situation. Contribute to the technological and industrial development of the nation. Appreciate and explain the role of physics in promoting health in society. Observe general safety precautions in all aspects of life. Acquire and demonstrate a sense of honesty and uh, high integrity in all aspects of physics and life in general. There are two more. Acquire positive attitude towards physics. And finally, acquire adequate knowledge in physics for further education and or uh, training. So that's, that's it for that. Those are the objectives of the subject physics in the Kenyan curriculum. So maybe you can check out the description of this link where I pasted all that we've, talk, we've discussed and make that decision if you have to. So see you in our first class where we are going to actually introduce physics.